everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do something kind of fun. So, not that our other video uh, food, the Korean medium food is not fun, but uh, this. Um, I used to have a tempura truck in LA a while ago, and my sister used to be called a Oji tempura. <laughs> that was really silly. So what I did was I had a food truck and I kind of like uh, put um, neon lights in the wheel well and then I had like, I had short feet crystals put on the grill but kind of like having bling on the grill. <laughs> it was silly. But anyway, I had, it, it, it served really good uh, tempura but um, so I, I thought I'd do a tempura video today. So a lot of people um, say, oh, it's so really delicious Japanese food. Yeah, Japanese made it really delicious. But the tempura origin is not from Japan. In the mid 1500s, um, the Portuguese missionaries came over to Japan and then they introduced tempura to the Japanese. So if you look at the way it's written in Japanese, tempura is written in hiragana. Hiragana usually is um, uh, the way it's Japanese alphabet written phonetically for foreign words. So if you look at tempura, it's written in hiragana. And then the katakana is the one they write everything in that Japanese word that they write in Japanese. So um, that's a really uh, fun fact. <laughs> so um, we're going to do kind of like traditional tempura, but we're going to make it vegan. The dipping sauce is going to be very vegan. So we're going to start with the sauce. I'm gonna, uh, in this pan, traditionally this is their warm, the sauce. So I have about a cup of water, and I have about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Then I have about three tablespoons of uh, sugar. And traditionally, the sauce is made with bonito. The bonito is a, usually, I think it's um, yellow yellowtail tuna that they um, dry and then smoke. And so it becomes this firm, um, and then they have a shaver designed just for the bonito, and they sh uh, shave it into really thin uh, flakes. And that's what they usually flavor the um, sauce with. But we're gonna put mushroom powder instead. To give it that umami flavor. So basically, we're just gonna um, bring it up to temperature. Once the sugar and, um, and the mushroom powder kind of melts. And we don't want this too strong because we want to taste the vegetables. I think it's still a little strong. So I'm gonna put about half a cup more of water. So put one and a half cup of water when you're making this recipe. Okay, so that's done. Perfect. Next, we're gonna make our um, tempura batter. So tempura batter, um, I make it with cake flour because you don't want too much protein in here. Protein meaning gluten, vital uh, weak gluten. So cake flour has the least amount of uh, gluten. And then we have about two and a half cups of cake flour. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm gonna mix this up well. Kind of loosen up the chunks of um, cake flour because it gets really lumpy. If your uh, flour is super lumpy, you can even put, put it through a strainer. And then to this, this is really cold water. I'm gonna add about two cups. 
I'm gonna probably add more. So the consistency that we're looking for for the tempura batter is if you want it um, extra crispy, it's got to be kind of like thinner. If it's a thick batter, if it's like pancake batter, your uh, tempura batter is not going to get crispy. So kind of like if you ever make crepe batter, that's the consistency we're looking for in the tempura batter. Just a little bit on the thick side. Perfect. So you see how the sauce holds its shape but it still falls down? Pretty fast. This is the consistency we want. So I'll show you on the back of a spoon. This is the consistency we want for the tempura batter. So once we make our batter, we're gonna keep it aside. Um, if you're not gonna use it right away, you can make it. You can make it up to about a few hours ahead and keep it in the refrigerator. The main thing is keeping it nice and cold. Okay. So now we're gonna go on to our vegetables. So in this tray, I have. Um, kabocha pumpkin, which is sweet uh, squash. Then I have um, sweet potatoes. I have some onions that I, I cut into giant rings. I have some enoki mushrooms. And then these um, Japanese, I forgot what these are called, but they're like tiny little mushrooms. They're cute. Shimeji, shimeji mushrooms. Okay, and then I have some broccoli florets. I have some carrot slices. If you can find baby carrots with the tops on, that the tops are really fresh. If you go to like a farmer's market and get the organic ones, those will be really pretty and tasty um, in the tempura. Then I have some French green beans. I go there, and I have. I thought it would be fun to put a little bit of parsley as a garnish. Uh, tempura, the, it will be really fragrant and delicious. So we're going to um, prepare the vegetables. Most of it is prepared. The only thing we need to cut is the... The, the only thing we need to cut is the um, pumpkin and the sweet potato. So I'm going to be using one of these um, Asian mandolin. If you are accident prone like I am, I like I go too fast and then I kind of like slice my finger sometimes. So as a precaution, I'm gonna wear um, some uh, gardening glove. Um, this is dedicated just for cooking when I do uh, things like this and I put a glove on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to slice this into about between quarter and one eighth of an inch thick. This is just for myself, so I don't want to make a lot. And so, this is a good thickness right here. So this is pretty much about three-eighths of an inch. Um, thick. I'm gonna save the rest for my Korean uh, tempura. I'm gonna do it in the second video. So the pumpkin, yes. Yeah, this one is gonna be harder. Because it's harder to push. Um, because it's hard, the skin's a lot harder. And yes, we put the skin on there. So. Take a, a nice uh, kitchen brush and using warm water, wash it really well. This is actually my favorite thing to tempura, the, the sweet uh, pumpkin. God, I 
I'm gonna make so much tempura. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, that's enough. So this, I'm gonna save for something else. I'll probably make, um, I don't know. I'll think of something that I can make with this. <laughs> so now we're gonna make, we're gonna prepare our oil. So for the oil, you want a deep um, pot for your um, cooking vessel. I also have an avocado that I want to uh, tempura. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I think I heard someone actually do it, but I never, I've never seen it. Or um, I'm gonna try it today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the avocado half. And I'm gonna tempura. I'm just gonna fry the whole thing in half. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Then I have some um, all-purpose flour in this um, bowl. We're going to toss our vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the sweet potato and. sure we have all ready to go oh yeah the temperature is uh, just about 400 degrees so I'm gonna take this I feel like this is a tad thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. It's easier to add more water than to add more flour to this. I'm going to start with the Not enough overcrowd. I'm just trying for myself. I'm using a smaller um, pot. And then if you like a little more of the uh, batter on your um, tempura, just just leave it with your finger. See how easy it is? <laughs> Make sure you get all the, um, the, the batter because it's going to continue to burn and degrade your oil. So if you want your oil to last a little longer and you want um, a really nice tasting tempura, 
make sure you take all that uh, excess batter that's floating. And then this is what, well, not when it's just dark, but when it's a little lighter, that's what they use at the sushi restaurant for the, your crunchy rolls. You know the stuff they uh, <laughs> make the crunchy rolls with? That's what it is. So now I'm gonna put my sweet potatoes. Again, don't be afraid. afraid. Drain the excess oil and push it. Go close right. Go close right on top of the oil and then drop it away from you. Yeah, and if you want a little more tempura batter. I can't wait. I'm just gonna taste this. You're gonna hear this. Look how crunchy it is. Mm. So light. And it's not greasy at all because we're frying it at the right temperature. Mm. Yum. So don't make it too thick. Otherwise, the outside will burn and your uh, vegetables not going to cook. So while that's finishing up, I'm going to put onions next. I love onion rings. <laughs> Tempura onion rings are one of my favorites. I like it better than the breaded onion rings you get at the, like the American style. Or Western style, I should say. I don't know. Are onion rings American? I don't really know. I didn't grow up eating it because my mom cooked Korean food at home. And we rarely had fast food. Like uh, back in the 80s and the early... Like pretty much in the 80s, uh, the only uh, treat we would have is sometimes going to McDonald's and getting Happy Meal when we were kids. <laughs> But other than that, we never really have fast food. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead with the onions. It's important to dust off the excess flour because if you don't, you're gonna have raw flour as when you bite into the um, tempura. And since the carrots are very little, we're going to go ahead and put in our carrots too. At the restaurant, I didn't have a sink by the fryer, so I would just have a big um, bucket of water that I would just put my hand in after I touch the batter because I don't have time to run to the um, sink and wash my hand or rinse my hand every time I make tempura. Ah, look at that. So delicious. This amount of tempura, if I go to a rent, like a, a Japanese restaurant or sushi restaurant and order this amount, this amount of tempura, it's gonna be like $20. <laughs> and uh, it's so easy. You can do pretty much any vegetables you want, you know?
Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead with our our uh, green beans now. I'm only gonna do half because I'm not gonna eat it all. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, green beans fried. This is a really great way to get your kids to eat vegetables. <laughs> Yum. Oh, I can't forget my avocado. Next, I'm gonna do my avocado and all the mushrooms. The mushrooms, I don't think I'll need to add flour to because, especially the enoki mushroom. Oh. Look at that. When I first take it out, I try to spread it out so the steam won't go into each other and get soggy. Okay, now our milky mushrooms, make sure you take out the excess batter. <laughs> this is gonna be really delicious because uh, once you cook this mushroom, it gets kind of like chewy and it has a good mouthfeel. And then it's frying like it's, it's like a tree of life kind of shape. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I'm betting the avocado is going to be so delicious because it's going to be crispy on the outside and it's going to be so creamy and uh, avocado goodness inside. Oh. So as long as your temperature range, you start with close to 400 because when you add your food, it's going to drop down to about 320 depending on the type of food you put in and then it's going to come back up to around 350 to 375. When it stays in that range, that's a good temperature to uh, fry your food in because um, if it's too hot, your food's going to burn. If your temperature is too low, the oil is going to get absorbed into the batter even more, so you're going to get really greasy food. Oh, look at this. I'm salivating. <laughs> Seems like I'm salivating in uh, any food that I make, huh? That's <laughs> a piggy. This is the shimeji mushroom. So whatever mushroom you have, you can put it to this. If, if you want to put shiitake, you can put shiitake. If you want to put kernini, you can put you can put. If you want to put button mushroom, put button mushroom. White button mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my avocado along with this mushroom. Look at this mess. <laughs> oh. You know, I haven't had the milky mushroom before, so I'm gonna taste it. Put a little bit of salt. Yeah, you can season it with a little 
with the salt. Yum. I think this is my new uh, favorite. No, I do like this pumpkin. I don't know, it's a, it's a toss up now. <laughs> See, you never know what you're gonna really like, so try different things, you know? It's the shimeji mushrooms. Oh yeah, we have one more thing to fry. Last but not least, I have two things to fry. I forgot about our broccoli. The broccoli I think will grab onto the batter well, so I'm not gonna put flour. And then the um, the parsley, I'm not gonna put I bet this avocado will be good with sriracha on top. So when I eat this, I'm gonna put a little sriracha and I know I think I'm gonna enjoy that a lot. I mean how could you if you have kids, how could they not eat this broccoli even though they hate broccoli? The reason why I'm uh, when I'm frying something like this, where I don't want it to bunch up together, I put it in the oil and I kind of like shake off the extra tempura batter so that the, the leaves kind of like uh, not clump together. Oh my god, this is a lot of tempura for me, so I'm not even gonna eat half and I'm gonna. Uh, probably put with the rest of it into the freezer and then when I have a tempura craving which is rarely um, I'll take it out and put it into my toaster oven <laughs> to shake off the extra batter away from the parsley. <clears throat> okay. okay, so I'm gonna put my tempura on the plate. I'm gonna start with the sweet potatoes. Oh my god, this is a huge plate of fried <laughs> tempura. <laughs>
put uh, so the um, dipping sauce. If you add um, lemon to it or yuzu, which is a citrus, Asian citrus, it becomes ponzu. So if you prefer a little citrus in your sauce, you can do that. So I would put some on the side here like this. And that's how you, that's how easy it is. Look at how fucking simple. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. You can use a chopstick or just go with your hand. You can use chopstick or just go with your hand. I'm gonna try the... Oh. Mm, look how crunchy it still is. Mm. I'm gonna try the avocado. So good. Yum. I think this is my new favorite. I'm gonna dip it in some of the sauce. And then put sriracha. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yum. Some onion ring. Mm. And then I'm gonna enjoy some with lemon in the sauce. Make a ponzu. <laughs> I'm gonna try the mushroom. Mm. Reminds me of the old days when I had flour all over my arm. <laughs> My favorite, the pumpkin. Mm. This was the first thing we fried, and still, how crunchy. Do you hear the sound? Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. The sweet potato that I used is the chestnut variety of this Korean sweet potato. So in Korean they call it Bamgoguma. Palm means chestnut because when it's cooked, it will remind you of chestnut and the in this um, sweet potatoes um, flavor and texture. So we call it palm goguma. So sweet potato, chestnut sweet potato. Mm. Oh yeah, I haven't tried this mushroom yet. The shimeji. And if you want the sauce to resemble the plastic sauce a little more, I would put a tiny bit of liquid smoke. Because Bonito has that little bit of smoke flavor. I'm gonna try the parsley. Oh, the parsley is delicious. 
Parsley is good for digestion. Like, how could you not like vegetables when it's served like this? <laughs> Hear that crunchy, crunchy sound? <laughs> Once you make onion rings this way, you're never going to go back to making it with a breaded way. One tip about the tempura batter. The longer it sits, thicker it's gonna get, so you may have to add a little more water before you fry. Mm. Sweet potato. getting full but I want to eat this <laughs> the avocado <laughs> so I'm gonna skip no actually I like the mushroom I'm gonna eat one more of the mushroom I need my sriracha It's like eating one of those um, sushi rolls with avocado, but then you put the shrimp in there. So like the uh, crunchy outside reminds you of the shrimp, and then the avocado is so creamy and rich. And the sweet and kind of like a little bit salty. And the umami packed mushroom flavor. But the mushroom flavor is mild. Um, of the sauce and then with a little bit of sriracha it just kind of like punches you at the end livens up your taste buds as it goes in mm. I ate all of it I hope you enjoyed this video. The next video I'm gonna do is a Korean version of the tempura. So it's a little different from the Japanese version. Cause the Korean one, you kind of like julienne everything and toss it all in then uh, flour and then batter and then you fry it. I'm gonna show you. Especially the ingredients are a little different. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and share with all your friends and uh, ooh, I'm so full <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye